Good evening, welcome back to another video. Um, a late video, but um, good news that Icon SPCs are now back in FIFA 21. Something that we've been waiting for. They've also managed to put Icon SPCs and Icon swaps together, which I think, which is the idea I proposed six months ago. Um, I doubt they, wrote, they, they listened to my idea at all. Um, not that I reported it or, or said anything about it, but they've implemented it. Very, very good idea. We'll get on to that in a second. There are some new things. I'll kind of skim through everything because I don't want to waste too much of your time. I'll leave the full access notes in the description. Just to say they've now officially confirmed that the game releasing on the 1st, you can play early access on the 6th, and then on the 9th, you can play for everyone else. Because everyone thought there was a 5th, 5th of October, the game will be coming out earlier. Of course, that was not true. So they confirmed EA access members playing on the 1st and EA play. Then on the 6th is for Ultimate and Champions Edition, and on the 9th is the Worldwide Release. So basically, if you start the game earlier, you get a pre-launch objective with a chance to earn a special access reward pack, which includes an untradeable 80 to 84 rated player pick and a 10 game loan item for the team of the week. And then that's really, really good. So if you're an, if you're an early access member, you've got a really, really good chance of getting a decent play and you could get anyone. You can get 84 rated, you could get, potentially get a Benyeda. Team of the week one will be also be there for a limited time. Um, there's also going to be, you'll get like a boost in um, season one objectives. So if you play earlier and early access, you'll be able to get the boost for season one. So you get to level 30 faster. There's a few other stuff um, that I made about like, you know, um, there's, there's some other stuff, but I'll be honest, it's not really that important. You can basically earn packs with these new objectives and stuff like that. There is two new things, well, um, one to watch SPCs and one to watch player picks. So basically, if you log in from the 5th to the 6th, so you have to either be an early access member, EA Play member, or use the companion app. So you can also log in through the companion app. What happens is you'll actually get to be able to vote for one of the one to watches. These are the six that are confirmed. So Werner, ZH, Bale. One to watch is, of course, are players that have moved from an, an existing club this year and have moved to a new club. So Bale, Real Madrid, to um, to Tottenham on loan. ZH from uh, uh, ZH, obviously Chelsea, Werner, Chelsea, um, Thiago, etc., etc. So these are the six confirmed. I'm presuming you might have a chance to vote another person. So let's say, for example, like Semedo. Maybe there's an SP. Maybe there's like a one to vote for either Semedo, Gabriel from Arsenal, and maybe something like that. So you can now vote. So on the 5th and the 6th, you're able to vote which one to get, one to watch. So that's pretty interesting. Again, not too much. Not something that really interests me too much. Um, but yeah, there's some other information as well. There'll be there'll be two teams of one to watch. Is the first to be released on the 9th, one to watch two between 14 and 16. So for those that are pre-ordered the ultimate, this, be, but this is important. For those of you that pre-ordered between the four, before the 14th of August, the ultimate will receive a guaranteed one to watch when the, when the game kicks off on the 9th. Um, the one to watch you receive will be based on the pack you open. So if you open it between the 9th to the 16th, you'll get to the one to watch team one only. If you open it from the 16th to the 21st, you'll get one to watch team second team only. And 21st onwards, one and two mix. So basically, if you decide you want none of these guys, you can just wait um, for the second one on October the 16th. Um, if you want to wait for the one to watch second team. But I'll be honest, this one is probably the better one. So I'll definitely... I think there's probably going to be more players or but that's what I'll definitely suggest. Um, but obviously it depends on who you want. Life foot friendly is to just put some things together. Um, nothing, just change squad rules and house rules. They've also made this meaningful moments feature. Now this is not that important, but basically long story short is an item might get like a special kind of moments card, I'm presuming. And let's say, for example, he, let's say Trent, for example, did a dead ball free kick or whatever. And he was dead ball specialist. Or let's just say he did a free kick and he was, and he got like some nice driven shot or something like that. Then increase either his passing or his free kick accuracy or something um, in the game. Um, I don't really know how that's going to work, but um, I presume that's for limited time only. I'm not really too sure about that. They didn't really say it too much. I mean, I'm presuming you can read on more about this in the description below. Flashback errors. Um, this is actually a pretty good idea as well. It's like a flashback card, so that's pretty good. And um, league play league players return with some training. This year you were able to learn league players with a static permanent upgrade. So that is pretty interesting, permanent upgrades. But again, that will probably come more to fruition when the game comes out. We'll know about that more, you know, how that actually works in detail. Now, this is the main thing. B for 19, Icon SBCs were a formidable feature that allowed people like us hardcore players um, to actually play the game. And actually just get the icons they wanted you could save up for like six months and get eusebio if you want at the end of the year and therefore the prices were good this year for example eusebio was about four or five million even in around what 
it was, I think his base card was 4 million even in around May, June time. So whereas last, in FIFA 19, I bought him for about 1.5 or 1.6, you can see the price difference. So they decided that wasn't that wasn't a way to go. They decided this year to use icon, um, foot objectives. Now, contrary to belief, Fred Objectives is a brilliant idea for casual players. Most FIFA players are casual. We are like, if you're watching this video, you're definitely like in a 0.001% to watch the video alone. Um, but most casual players, you know, they pay like a couple of hours. You, maybe you might play a couple of hours. I know most of my target audience is between 25 and like 45. So most of you guys only play maybe a couple of hours a week. But Icon Objectives were good for you. The issue was you ended up getting an icon you didn't want and it was a headache. So now they've made a system where you're both Icon SPCs and then you have also icon objectives. So I'm just going to read how this works first. So the first of all, there's four icons. There's the base, which are, which is normally the normal one, as you can see. That comes in from mid, uh, when, the, when the early access comes out to December. So you want to pack base, you said, but you have to pack in from mid, uh, when the game comes out, mid-October, or um, October, shall I say, to December. The mid icon, for example, like you said, the middle card, you said, will be available from um, EA Play Access to February. So you can pack, pack the mid card. So if you open a gold, let's say for example, if it's February time and you open a premium, a jumbo, jumbo rare players pack, you cannot pack, for example, the base you save here, but you can pack um, this one. So basically mid will be open from mid to uh, release to February. The prime version will be released much later on and, and will be introduced during the month of um, December, 2020. The moments version, now this is what they say, okay? The version will be introduced into packs during the month of February. So basically, from now to like, I would say December, your base players and then mid players. And then from, um, from, from now to like February, you only have prime and mid and then moments will come out in February. Now this is what I said. Secondly, we're excited to confirm the icon SPCs are back. You're once again have the opportunity to earn a specific icons by completing select SPCs. Um, the first icon will be reduced from late November onwards. So I think that's a good timing. Icon SPCs will be available long term but not permanently. So there'll be a time restraint on them. I doubt they'll come back. Specific versions of icons are only eligible for SPC after being released in packs for a period of time. So that means, for example, I don't know how this is going to work. So maybe they're like base icon SPCs as well. I don't really know what they mean by that. Um, maybe they have base icon SPCs. Maybe after an SPC respires, it may be re-released at a later date. But I'll be honest, if you don't get it the first time, it'll probably release at the end of the game. Uh, and icons may be used as requirements in SPC. So you can use the icon swap stuff into the SPCs. Um, lastly, the huge popular icon swaps will be 10 21. As a reminder, it's, it's how icon swaps work. You get um, complete play objective tokens, earn rewards, earn a token, then use them in swaps. Based on learnings, feedback, maternal icon SPCs, and handful of changes that have been made. In. Icon swaps will begin during December. In my opinion, this was a terrible idea. They should have made it available in, in November, the second week. I don't know why, maybe they want you to spend more FIFA points. I don't know what's the reasoning behind it, but that's what I'm upset about. They should have made it available early on, not December. Um, there'd be greater mix between icon and packs uh, with an increased number of pack rewards. Pack rewards made at low. Pack rewards will be made available to lower token. Okay. Okay, I'll be honest. In terms of that, I think it's a good idea. I think they, they could have they could have made icon swaps one early in November, to be honest. But I think this one people to grind the game. I think this will avoid people relegating them. So I think this is what they did to kind of stop people from relegating themselves. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference in all honesty. Um, as people play competitively anyway in the first couple of weeks to get best rival points and packs as possible. Um, and then obviously the companion app will be opening on the, on the 30th and the mobile will be opening on the 1st. Um, and obviously you can obviously log on to Twitch to see the rewards. And that is pretty much it. Now, I'll be honest. This is actually really, really good. Um, I'm actually really happy. The main thing is the icon stuff. Uh, just the main things you need to know is just remember if you if you pre-order early access, decide which icons you want. Um, you might have, if you don't if you don't know which one you want to get, wait for 21st of October. Um, in terms of um, SPCs, obviously don't forget to log on to the fifth to obviously vote for the um, on, on the companion app to vote for or the sixth to vote for the one to watch player that you want. Icons, fantastic idea, a brilliant idea. But um, that's going to be me done. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This is a quick highlight on the notes in terms of the icon SPCs and stuff like that. But thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, boys.